Hi, welcome back to the Lum Rim, and I bet you're wondering what the holes in these genes are, and let's find out. I'm going to go to the text now. Uh, we finished the, the terrible and wonderful story of the Lady of the Blue Lotus, Utpala, and who became an Arhat, and who made five other Arhats out of her nuns. And here we continue with uh, Pabon Kripiche's Lam Rim lecture. De simbe na ma mimba mingyurte. Just because your mom was in the past doesn't mean she's not your mom. Okay? Just because, just because the days of being your mom were in the past doesn't mean she's not your mom. Okay? Te gyurna se turki ma yang se meki ma mimba gyur. Then logically, if the fact that she's passed, if the fact that the time she's been your mother is passed means she's not your mother, then everybody's mother is not their mother <clears throat> because everybody's mother was their mother before in this life. Okay, so that means if your mom is not your mother this year, if she was your mother last year, then she's not your mother, right? According to your logic, if she's been your mother in the past, she's not your mother now. Okay, well then the mom who gave you birth in this life is not your mom because she gave you birth before. Okay, this is Paboka's argument. Right? Even your mom from yesterday wouldn't be your mom today because that's past. Okay, so if you went to visit your mother yesterday, then you came home today, then suddenly because the date changed, she's not your mother anymore, right? Because someone in the past has been your mother is not your mother, according to your logic. Why? Te de simbe so. Because it's past. Okay, she's past. Yesterday is also past. Di ni chawe mi tapate. This is interesting. He says that's a kind of subtle impermanence. Okay, trauma here means subtle. Mitapa means impermanent. Okay, tupa ma chepe topa ka me. If you haven't had a Buddhist education with the Lam Rim or with the ACI courses, then topaka, it's difficult to grasp. Uh, subtle impermanence is difficult to grasp if you're not trained formally, okay? If you haven't had formal Buddhist training, uh, training in the classics, mixed nuts classics, then uh, it's going to be difficult, toka, difficult to catch it. Me, me means, look, I know, but let's try to take it to a common example, and I think it'll be easier for you guys. Berna, let's take an example. Sen ditabu. So, of course, Pabon Kuruche is giving his Larmrim lecture with a sen. A sen means the shawl that the monks wear over their, over their shoulders. So he would have been giving his lecture with a shawl over his shoulders. Ditabu yangna. Naning, so Naning means last year. It's an idiom, okay? Naning means last year. Sarpika, Naning, last year, this shawl I have on my shoulders was new, okay? It was new. Sarpika, Timachen Min, it wasn't stinky, <laughs> okay? And, you know, to be honest, uh, people use their shawl for everything in the monastery, so it does get kind of... And, and I, I have known monks, um, I, I have a, I lived with a monk who said it was unhealthy to take a shower in the winter. So he wouldn't take a shower all winter. Uh, he wouldn't wash his body all winter. And, and so it does get kind of timachin. Uh, it means uh, mala, right? <laughs> Having a, it has a good smell. Bukdul means uh, get holes in it, like holes in your jeans, okay? We have bukdu, the best example of bukdu in our culture, modern culture, is genes, the holes in your genes, okay? So look, these genes didn't have these holes a year ago, okay? But this year, they have holes, okay? So he says, look, look at this uh, shawl I have on. And Geshe Michael could say, look at these genes I have on. You know, bukdu, they got holes in them, okay? But they didn't have holes in them last year, okay? Did they? And they weren't smelly last year, okay? But now they're smelly, okay? Buktu yang mepala. De gyun tensangi sen de chima chen. But you can't say these are not the genes that I bought last year, okay? It's a very profound 
proof, it's a very profound way of teaching us subtle impermanence, okay? Look, do you have jeans on? Yes. Do they have holes in them? Yes. Did they have holes in them last year? No. Are they the same jeans? Well, yeah. They're the same jeans. They're my jeans, okay? So he says, there you go. Now you understand subtle impermanence, okay? Got it? All right. But you cannot say that the jeans today that have holes in them are not the jeans that you bought at, uh, what's that store? Uh, Buckle last year, okay? They are the jeans you bought last year. They're the same jeans, okay? Why are we talking about that here? Yeah, your mom's changed. She's different. Maybe she's bugdu. Maybe she got a hole somewhere. But, uh, but it's still the same mom. You can't say it's not the same mom just because she looks older or, or she's not around or something. Then you can't say it's not the same mom. Come on. It's the same genes, right? It's logic. Okay. Boom. Uh, we're talking about the flow of an object over time. It's called gin, okay? And the flow of your mom over time, okay? Are they separate or are they not separate or are they one? Are, are they two points on a stream or are they two unconnected things? Is there a pair of jeans last year that was new from the store and then there's a pair of jeans this year that has holes in it? Are they separate? Yes. Are they connected by a stream? Yes. Are they still the same genes? Yes. Is it still your mom? Yes. Okay. So there's, you got to th- follow this train of thought until you realize that there's no difference between your mom and this life, which is the genes with the holes in them, and the mom in your last life, which is the new genes, okay? Your mom in your last life is the, is the new genes. And your mom in this life is the, is the mom with the holes in it. And they're one stream. It's one thing, okay? If they were your mom in this life, and they were your mom in a previous life, it's the same person. It's the same person. It's the same genes, okay? Can't make the same good thing. You got to think about it. Na ning so kyap na te jin da lo yang jin shino. This, I love this sentence. I don't know why, but this sentence has always stuck with me for over many years. Uh, if someone saves your life in 2020, maybe in 2021 you can show some gratitude. Okay? Maybe, maybe okay? 2020, someone pulls you out from an automobile accident or something, saves your life. What? In 2021, you're going to say, oh, that was last year. You know, this is 2021. I don't have to be grateful anymore. Okay, come on, he says. Okay. Deta yang yang jambe, marche gula kepe tseni. This is very beautiful. Tse means, how do you know when you got it? Okay, tse means measure, right? Like tsema, like pamana. Uh, how do you know when you've got, when you've reached marche? Okay, uh, which is kind of 1.5 of the, how many? Five point, uh, seven points of, of how to get bodhicitta. Okay, it's really 1.5. What's 1.0? Uh, 1.0 is the equanimity. 1.5 is, uh, it's kind of like a 1.5, you know, to realize they've been your mother. Okay, so how do you know? And I love that in a Buddhist scripture when they say, with, a, with an emotion, how do you know when you got it? You know, when, when can you say, I have marche? Okay, at what point can you say, I have marche? Okay, how, when can you say, gyulake? Gyulake means, I have got that realization in my mind. I really do think of everyone as my mom. Okay, how do you know? Semchen dokpur chik tonganang. Even if you just see a single ant crawling across the bathroom downstairs in the building, which used to happen, <laughs> especially when you're sitting and meditating in, in the bathroom and you see an ant crawling around. And Tomanang, Rang De Pur Kyurkap, there was a time when I was this being's child. There, when you see an ant crawling on the floor of the bathroom and you're sitting there meditating, and you, you, 
you automatically think, I, I was once this aunt's child, okay? I was once the baby of this aunt, okay? Ki duk tsama de la red tok, misspelled in the original text, uh, very subtle. Red uh, tok means uh, all my hopes and fears depended on this person, you know? Whether I was going to have a good day or a bad day, whether I was going to survive today or not, depended on this person. So if, if you're sitting in the bathroom and you see an ant crawling across the floor and you think there was a day when I was her child and, and my very life depended on her from hour to hour, okay? Chungwa, hang hang means, un, what do you call it? Un, unevoked? I don't know. Hang hang means, when that comes up in your heart, uh, uncalled? Un, yeah, just totally so spontaneously. Like, you, you're not thinking, I should feel compassion or I should feel this emotion, but just go, the emotion takes over your heart, hung, hung, like that. Oh, wow, this is the one that I was looking for to survive the day, this bug. Chen Den Jen, Marshe Gila Chungwa. Then you've got Marshe, okay? And he uses the uh, honorific word for born, Chungba is Kepa, okay? And, uh, and he's, he's using the, it's a very uh, telling verb choice. He says, thou, thou hast given birth in your holy heart to Marshi. Okay. Uh, he's using the high honorific that we would use to a Buddha, right? It means if you could get to that point where you had this emotion about a single ant crawling across the floor, then, then you're really a high practitioner. Okay. All right. Joe uh, Gutsu Che Sung. You guys have to be like uh, Atisha, like Lord Atisha. This is how he would feel about an ant. When you can feel about an ant the way that Atisha would feel about an ant automatically, despite yourself, uh, then, uh, then you have Mashi. Okay. So I guess we'll never get there. <laughs> you got an ant picture for me? Uh, this is a. I don't know, I found this picture. This is a little girl uh, playing with ants, and I, I guess you must have done that. I did that. We used to kill them, actually, which is really bad. But, uh, you know, she's, she's playing with ants, and uh, maybe she's having those thoughts. Okay. Uh, with this, we have reached 2.0. We have reached the second of the seven steps for developing bodhicitta, okay? And that's called Tin Tin. Say Tin Tin. It's not tin tin, it's tin tin. Tin tin means uh, to recall the kindness, okay? Katin, katin temba. Katin temba. Katin means kindness, and uh, temba means to remember. And tin tin is the short word, okay? Tin tin, okay, here's the second step. Don't forget what we're talking about. We're talking about actually six steps you can do to reach a seventh result, which is uh, bodhicitta, supposedly. If you just go through these steps one by one, you will get the bodhicitta without thinking about it, okay? Which is really cool. That's the purpose of the long rim. The long rim means just do this meditation, then do that meditation, then do that meditation, and then even if you don't want to, you're going to be a bodhisattva, okay? All right. Deta semchen nam ama yimba nyam na ama chekap jin shintu chewa sam gupi. Okay, so I think... All of us, because of the old genes, we are closer to believing that everyone has been our mom before. But how did she treat us when she was our mom? What did she do for us? So let's talk about that, okay? Let's talk about Jen Shin Tu Che, Karen Shin Tu Che, when she was our mom. How did she treat us? Okay, here we go. Tata Tsen Di Ma Tabertsena. Sun here means, uh, it can mean weapon like Sunje Koro, the crown of knives. But Sun can also mean uh, to take as an example. Uh, so here is to take as an example. Let's take as an example. Let's just talk about the mom you had in this life, okay? Tok ta pa sum du jin che te. She has been kind to you. Tok ta pa. This is a famous uh, idiom. Do you guys know Tok ta pa? Uh, Tsongkhapa wrote a book called Tok Tok, a poem. 
it means that in the beginning, in the end, and in between. Okay, in the beginning, in the end, and in between. So she has been extremely kind to us in the beginning, in the end, and in all the time between. Okay, tokmar dagu mochu. She's in the beginning. Okay, what what's the beginning? It's in the womb. Okay, she carried you for dagu nine months. Then he says mochu, which means ten days. So you know. Tibetans believe the normal term is nine months and ten days. Okay. Is it true? I don't know. It's on the other side. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, Par Lula Kurwa. There's Kurwa again, Tim. She bore that burden. She carried that burden for nine months and ten days. Kurwa. Pula Nuki Togne. This dog means suspicion. Uh, and here it means. Uh, Worried that something might happen to her child. Worried that something might happen to her child. Rang niki sekom jon duk tamje sub. Sub, sub, sub. In modern Tibetan, sub, sub means be super careful. Sub, sub, chi. Like if someone's, uh, I don't know, using a sharp knife to cut something, you, the mom might say sub, 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 chi. You know, be careful. Here it means just Deciding say, just deciding come, just deciding draw, just deciding do. She would sub sub. She would try to proceed with great caution. About say means uh, what she eats, come means what she drinks, draw means the manner in which she walks, and do means the manner in which she sits. So she would be cautious about even what she drank, because she would be thinking, how will it affect my child? How will it affect my child? If I walk quickly, will it hurt the child? Uh, if I sit in a certain way, would that hurt the child? She's always thinking of the child. Okay, uh, Intense caring. I got a picture here for you. <laughs> you know, on a good day, I guess, uh, all of us who are pregnant, uh, would, would decide to eat the salad, right? And, and we would, uh, just for the baby, even though salads are an anathema, uh, are, are <laughs> terrible, she would eat a salad just for the baby. You know? She's still not thinking about herself, she's thinking about the baby. Okay. Uh, this is a difficult sentence. Dezze uh, means if in those pregnant days, May is instrumental. If my mom, data uh, kyang means to uh, to sustain a certain behavior. Okay, if if she have not been a kepa, what's a kepa? Like kedup tembadagi, kedup jay, yeah, like a master. Okay, if she had not been a master in deciding what to eat and drink and how to walk and how to sit. If she had not been a master of considering her child's welfare, okay, ma chung chin means uh, in that eventuality, okay, in that case, ma chung chin. If she had not been so mindful about what to eat, what to do, then you and I wouldn't be in the long room right now. It's a very beautiful sentence, okay? You and I wouldn't be here listening to the long room. We would have died. <laughs> You know, or we would be retarded, or you know, uh, we 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 wouldn't have made it here uh, if she had not taken those care before we came out. You know, so it's a very compelling argument to a big bunch of monks. You know, here's a big bunch of monks who enjoy their geshe court classes, and and then Paboka says he doesn't say she saved your life, blah blah blah. He says you wouldn't have studied. Abhisamankar, if it hadn't been for your mom. Oh my God, can you imagine? You know, <laughs> you would never ever heard a middle way, you know? And then all the monks are like, oh my God, oh, moms are so cool. You know, so, okay. Rang Re Tata means all of us sitting here right now. Chudan Jal. This Jal is a very important word in Buddhist language. It means to encounter a holy thing, uh, gel. Like when you, I remember uh, 
people would come to see the Mongolian temple where I live, and they would come to see the paintings mostly. And uh, I would tell my teacher, uh, Rinpoche, I'd say, I'm going to go show them the paintings. And he'd say, no, 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 we don't say show them the paintings. They are going to meet the Holy Dharma. You have to, you have to say chud dang jiao. Say chud dang jiao. Chu means dharma, dang means with, and jiao means meet, meet with the dharma. So you don't say, I'm going to go look at paintings. You say, I'm going to go meet the Holy Dharma, which is, it's a beautiful word, okay? So you wouldn't have, a, have had a chance to chud dang jiao if your mom hadn't been careful drinking what she drank when you were in her womb, okay? Uh, and you wouldn't be here today studying the Holy Dharma if your mom had not taken great care, even in the womb, even in the womb, okay? And, and for a person who really values their, their Dharma life, then that's a very huge argument. That's a, that's a huge piece of logic, you know? You better be nice to your mom why? Because she's why you're sitting in the long room right now. Can you imagine not being in the long room right now? Like, I, I, I know what I would be. I would be a professor at Princeton or something. And I would be unhappy, and I would have had two divorces, and I'd be, I'd be drinking wine every night and to make my life a little more bearable and, you know, uh, struggling against my colleagues to see who could publish the book first. And I, I would be there. I know. So I'm grateful. Okay. All right. Dida Kyang Rangi Gurtak Ne Chuaminki. This is very funny because Gu, this is the Gu in Ching Gu, Ching Wan Gupa. Meditation obstacles. Dullness and agitation. Yeah. So this Gu means agitation. What's the word for a, a, chimp, a, a large, what do you call it, chimpanzee? What's the large, smaller than an ape, bigger than a monkey? I'm sorry, than a, smaller than a gorilla, bigger than a monkey. Chimpanzee? Yeah, orangutan. Okay. What's the Tibetan word for orangutan? Mirgu. Uh, agitated human. <laughs> okay, so uh, good talk. This talk, but this good means your effort and your cleverness. Okay, uh, the fact that you're sitting here in a Dharma class or in a mixed nuts class with the holiest of Dharma was not because you were so clever or you were so, you know, you were so sharp that you got yourself here. It's just that your mom drank the right thing while she was pregnant. And if she had drunk something else, you wouldn't have the brains to sit here. And that's true. Right? So, Minki. I'm a de ni kitin. It's only your mom. Ni, de ni means it's only all the credit goes to your mom that you have a brain to sit here in the long room with. Okay. Think about it. Okay. She could have taken drugs. She could have done other things. She could have drunk alcohol. You could be, you could be mentally dull from her misbehavior while you were, while she was pregnant, but she took care of you even then. She started to, when you think about the mother's kindness, chin chin, step number two, don't start with after your birth. Start from after your conception. She started taking care of you then, okay? Probably even before conception, right? All right. Mm. So I like this photo. Uh, when I think about I, I, I said, I'm going to go find a picture of a long room teaching that we've been through so I can say that we were, we were there. Uh, and I love this picture. This is the long room that we had in Bali recent, like a year ago. And uh, this is the Vietnamese uh, contingent. These are the students from Vietnam. They did a beautiful dance. Then the Japanese did a nice dance. And then the Chinese did a nice dance. And, uh, and for us to stand there and watch this beautiful dance in the middle of the highest teaching, uh, you wouldn't be there if your mom had abused her body while she was pregnant. She was taking care of you before you came out. Okay. All right. Now he says, par. Tok ta par. Tok ta par, right? Tok means in the beginning. Ta means at the end. 
Par means in between. Let's talk about par. Okay, par starts when you come out. Okay, the in in between starts after you're born <laughs>、uh, from the womb. Par par du kepanang even after you were born, you are a kangyami shepe shai do. You are a lump of stupid flesh <laughs> that doesn't know anything. You are a, a ball of meat that don't know nothing. <laughs> That's not like a good thing you can call people that upset you. You're just a ball of meat who don't know nothing. You know.、Uh, I love this sentence. I don't know why this sentence stays with me. Also, you were just a ball of stupid meat, and.、Uh, Sword chu means sword. Sword means here means fingers, and sword chu se la lang means to、uh, I don't know to hold someone up on your fingers like that. You know, she's lying. She just had her guts ripped out by you, and she almost died. And then she's got this little stupid ball of meat, and she's like, "Oh, you're so beautiful!" You know, and she's like. <laughs> Holds you up on her ten finger, and I saw a picture of Noor like this、uh, a month ago. She's like, you know, we were following the hospital today. It's the usual drama, you know.、Uh, oh, she went to the hospital. Her water broke. She went to the hospital. They raced to the hospital. Okay, is it out yet? No, no, no. Then you know, you do your work, have dinner. You call Sage. Is it out yet? No. She's screaming. Okay, I got it. Then,、uh, <laughs> and then, and then you keep. Sometimes you forget to call Sage. You know, and then next morning you're like, I forgot to call Sage last night. You call Sage. Is it is it out yet? No, she's still screaming. And then you're like, okay. And then he, then suddenly your phone rings and you got this photo of Nora with the baby like this. You know, and、uh, ain't it the? Tr- it's always been like that. Pardo. Okay.、Uh, Kepanang,、uh, she's so cute. Say lalang, she's holding you on the tips of her ten fingers. Then neba tabu gatsa che, she looks blissed out like she just found a a bag of diamonds. <laughs> It's so funny. It's such a funny picture to me. You know? She's like, she's not saying you almost killed me two hours ago. She's like, oh look at this beautiful precious thing, like she found a new bag of diamonds or something. You know, she's treating it. She's treating this ball of stupid meat, ball of idiot meat. That make a good name for a band.、Uh, as she's treating you like a bag of diamonds or something. Oh look, I found a bag of diamonds. You can see these pictures. This is a universal picture, you know. It's not hard to find this picture. Tabu se chinu lan. Ter ni pa tabu gatso chi. Gatso means she's blissed out. Shaitra char. Shaitra means the warmth of her body. This is one of the levels of Jorlam.、Uh, okay, was it Chud Semo Chucho Super Chucho? Chud Semo Super Chucho. Chud Semo Super Chucho. So Chud means warmth.、Uh, in in ph- philosophical terms, also getting close to in emptiness is called warmth. Okay, here Shaitra means her flesh. The warmth of her flesh, charming. She she、uh, presses you to the warmth of her of her flesh. Jump it then, my shot. She tries to find places to put you, which are jumpa, like jump el yang. What's the Sanskrit? Manju, manju. Yeah, and that's a common name for women in India. Manju, gentle or velvety or something like that.、Okay. So she, when she lays you down, she tries to find a nice soft place for you, a manju place for you. That's a good way to remember manjushri.、Uh, and then sewe zungi su. This is the su that the Buddha did to Utpala when he first saw her. Greeted. He greeted you. Okay. This suwa means to greet, and she greets you with a sewe zum means a smile of total love. Okay. You just ripped my guts out. I was bleeding all over the place. They just sewed me up. The painkiller is wearing off. I love you. You're so beautiful. You know, <laughs> and it's crazy, right? All right. Nap lape chi chopa. Nap means snot. Okay,、uh, that comes out of a kid's nose. 
Uh, it is, I'm sorry. Lakpe uh, chi chopa, chopa means to allow or to be appropriate. Uh, like when you, when you ask your teacher, can I leave now? You say, do chopa, can I leave now? Can I, do you need me for anything else? Uh, this chopa means she could have. It would have been okay if she wiped your snot with her lakpa from your nose, uh, with her hand, with her fingers. But, this is the talk we just had. She's afraid it might hurt you. So she wipes it with her ka. Yeah, she wipes the snot out of your nose with her lips because she's afraid your fingers might be too rough. Okay, talk. And meet uh, someone, your poopoo, uh, she could scrape it out with some plastic spoon or something, but she uses her lakpa, her hands, because she's afraid it might irritate your bottom, okay? Like a spoon or, or some kind of cloth or something, and she uses her own fingers, okay? Uh, chi, chi means to, to wipe, okay? Shab uh, chi means foot. What's that mean? Uh, shoe shiner, shapchi. Uh, it's the Tibetan word for a lama's attendant. Uh, the, 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 the polite Tibetan word for a lama's attendant is shapchi. Wiper of the holy shoes. Hey, holy shoe wiper. What's Rinpoche want for dinner today? Or something like that. Okay, so, okay, Jigme. All right. Te kapsu rong nima chikam chutsu chiksam yang sam ring yang or do not. Now, if she had decided to take a break and leave us alone for a day or even an hour, okay? Nima chik means a day. Kam means or. Chutsu chik means one hour. If she had decided, you know, I, let me take a break. I'm going to go, you know, go see a movie or something, okay? In a theater. Yawa uh, door means to to leave you. Yawa door door means to abandon somebody. If she had left me for a day or twenty four hours or even one hour and gone to see a movie or gone to to have fun with her friends, Yang na ki Maybe a dog would come and eat me, which happens. Okay. Uh, or yang na che tok cha yi, yang na, or else maybe I could be carried away by a large bird, you know. And and I've seen uh, small animals carried away by birds in the desert. They, baby animals do get carried away by birds. It could happen to a human. There's a story of uh, the first Dalai Lama. His parents' camp was attacked by bandits. His mom hid him in some rocks and came back to fight, I guess. And then uh, when they went to find him, he was being uh, protected by a large, a large vulture eagle who was standing over him. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it could happen that I was carried away by a bird. Yang du hlunga, or I could fall off a table or off a chair and break my head open. This yang means fall into a... a a canyon or a, or some kind of cliff, fall off a cliff. Babies do that. So ki chiwagyur, I would chiwagyur uh, leyo me. I would have died if she had abandoned me for even an hour or a day. I would have died. Uh, possible, I would have died. Nima re re yang so go gya gya tun. She saved our life hundreds of times every day. Uh, and you can see it. I, I mean, I, I, I'm working with Seiji every day on, on Zoom. He has a new baby. Uh, his, his wife, Noor, by the way, they got married yesterday. He, uh, his wife, oh, they got the paperwork. Uh, you know, she never, never, uh, she has this, moms have this instinct not to be distracted for even a moment from their child. She's totally linked into the child. She's aware if there's anything dangerous around the child, slightly dangerous, and she's totally aware of how's the child's security at any moment, right? 
All right. Uh, if she hadn't been like that, we surely would have died. Okay. Pula Dungya. I have a close friend, a close friend of my teacher whose child was crushed by a truck because she looked away for a moment. And uh, it's, it happens, okay? They can't run, they can't think, they, they, they just sit there. Pula Dungya Chungwa Le, Rangla Dungya Chungwa Shene. If she had to make a choice between my child suffers or I suffer, she will always choose. I suffer, okay? This dumb means to choose. Tana niki tseyang. Tana means in the end, in the extreme. Niki tseyang. Even when she's asleep, her part of her mind is still looking at her child, still watching her child, even in her sleep. She never sleeps as solidly as she used to before she had the baby. She never sleeps as soundly as she did before she had a baby. Her, her sleep is always half sleep because she's thinking, uh, is something happening to the baby, okay? All right, and here we have a mother checking her child in, in the sleep. And uh, I think nowadays, even when we are, you know, I'm going through this as a grandpa. I have a new grandkid, Maitri, and, uh, and I can see that that they've learned, uh, uh, Seiji and Nor have learned not to sleep. They've learned to sleep halfway all the time. And uh, it's interesting and it's beautiful. Okay, so just think about uh, the fact that your mom did this for you and that the ant crawling across the bathroom floor did this for you. Okay, all right. We'll continue with Chen Chen in the next episode.